Okay, folks, as a lot of our communities are start, starting to face the uh, issue of community spread with the COVID-19, uh, you're seeing policies in place regarding face protection and wearing masks while in public. Now, I want to make sure we're not talking about the healthcare N95 grade mask protection. This is designed for the healthcare worker that's directly exposed to patients with COVID-19. What we're talking about is the protection against droplets that uh, you may express during coughing, sneezing, or even talking. Uh, and this would be something to address while you're out in public. So what I wanted to do to try to clarify some of this is demonstrate uh, what might be effective to prevent droplet spray through masks. So what I've done is uh, I grabbed a, a trusty wasp and hornet spray. And if you'll see, this actually has a range of 27 feet. So the the uh, moisture uh, droplet is expelled out of this can under pressure up to 27 feet. This is a full can, it's very pressurized. So I don't think any of us can cough or sneeze out 27 feet. So this should in fact be stronger than the average droplet coming out of the, the human mouth. Uh, so with this demonstration, I wanted to take a, uh, actually this is a standard paper mask that you might see in the community this one's used so I can waste this one here and I wanted to put this pressurized can up to it as if someone was sneezing under a lot of pressure and see if we're going to have moisture protection through this barrier so uh, get right in the light here and here we go so you can see that with 27 feet of pressure that the moisture was contained within just a few inches beyond the mask Considering the amount of pressure in this can, that's pretty good. So let me move on to fabric. Now, fabric like you would see with a scarf or bandana. So we're gonna take this, and if a person was wearing this tightly, and they had this up to their face, like this, then we're gonna see what kind of barrier protection we get from the spray through a standard fabric. This is actually double layered too. So this would be like taking a bandana and doubling it over. So here we go. Again, we're seeing about the same amount of distance with compared to paper, that the fabric is diminishing the pressure of the spray down to an inch or two beyond the level of the cloth. Now, we're going to test one of the homemade standard cloth masks that you've seen. Uh, a lot of you have seen these on YouTube videos. And this particular mask is a double layer fabric cloth mask and it has a, uh, uh, an air filter insert. The insert uh, is a 1900 insert, uh, which uh, says that it will capture down to a 0 0.03 micron level, which uh, would be similar to say what the viral spread would be like. So we're gonna take this mask with the insert, we're gonna put the can up to it and do the same test here. So here we go. So with the same pressurized can, in the same test, you can see that the insert, pretty much like an N95, stopped the spray through the mask. There was only, and I'll do it again, there was only a small amount, in fact, there was none that time, of penetration of the pressurized spray through this mask with the filter. So, either a surgical mask that has a plastic lining, a cloth mask double layer with a filter, is gonna be very protective in containing those droplets. Now, the point is, we want to contain droplets going out into the community. This, along with social distance, will do a very good job of keeping the spread away from us. Again, none of this is as good as staying at home. But when you have to be out, when you have to go to the store, you want something to stop your droplet spray from going out and potentially uh, involving someone else or, or vice versa. You don't want their droplet spray coming over to you. I hope this helps.